What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the casting table from Apocalypse Movies. This is one of the more exciting things here that we do at Apocalypse Movies. It is our casting show. We get to choose whatever characters we want and choose whatever actors and actresses we want to play those characters. It's a fun part of being a movie fan, and we love doing it here at Apocalypse. I am your host today, Jacob Bartley, and I am joined by two other Apocalypses here joining me. First up, we got the big Green Lantern fan himself, mm. Brian Avalicino. Um, and then we have Jake Berlin also here with us. And if you didn't notice already, we are casting the Green Lanterns, the Lanterns, Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart. They are the definitive, I mean, Hal Jordan is the definitive Green Lantern, but if there's somebody that's right there with them, it is Jon Stewart, mm -hmm. um, at least for our Earthbound ones. But yes, uh, I'll go to you, Brian, first. How you doing, Brian? Welcome to the show, man. Doing good. Ready to cast my favorite uh, DC superhero. DC character, right? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Jake got his Flash. Now I'm getting my Green Lantern. <laughs> uh, did we do a Flash episode? I didn't get my didn't Flash we... whatsoever. But Whoa, no. wait. There was something we did that you were like, the Flash is my favorite character. Well, no, no, no. the Flash is one of his favorites. But you know what's funny? We never got a chance to do a Flash because uh, the Flash fair. TV show started airing. And then they announced Ezra Miller as well. Yeah, Flash like two. so. But I think what you're referring to, Brian, is like, I, if I don't like the choice of Flash, so I'll just say that I'm not going to go on talk a, a lot about, about this alternate like, actors. It's clear, Flash. <laughs> like it's just clear at this point that I don't like who they chose for the Flash. Uh, not because of what's been happening with that person, but um, you are right, Brian. Like the Flash is on screen. I just wish that it wasn't because it's not what i want to see yeah Fair. we never got the chance to do flash because of the way they did it but one day when yeah, the, yeah. in I'm between really flashes we'll be able yeah, to i'm just excited because i remember literally still avidly to this day being like yes they're finally making green lantern the movie the first one and i'm going and the only it. one not the first one the only well, one. i meant not this one yeah uh <laughs> and then walking out of it going Damn it. Good casting like, though, but just yeah, didn't work. Uh, but still, yeah. But I'm excited. And just just to make sure, uh, in case anybody watching doesn't know, this is a TV show. Mm -hmm. This is going to be yes. an HBO Max TV series about how Jordan and John Stewart. Which James Gunn with, announced in that video, right? Yeah, it was one of the projects he announced, and yeah. it'll tr it'll transfer over to movies. So whoever plays these characters for James Gunn in the TV series, we will see in the movies. But it is. They're doing, it's called The Lanterns. It's a TV show, just to make sure that's out there. So. And they did say it's going to be true detective style, and they're unraveling some sort of mystery that ties into the bigger story arc of whatever Correct. the DCU is going to be. Well, he's, so he said it's the, with. I'm pretty sure he said it was like the it's pillar. the catalyst. It the pillar like. of yeah. it all. Like it's the and centerpiece of what's happening. I like that because it makes a show one of the more important elements of this universe going forward is, is mm -hmm. a television show because i feel like you know other networks and things have used the shows as like background to the main storylines but now this is going to be in the forefront of the main storylines so definitely like that it also means that we're going to see it very soon because it has to come out with one of the first projects <laughs> which is great that we're doing this uh so jake mm -hmm. your is your favorite character flash or aquaman or are they tied 1a 1b uh, I would probably say the Flash is my favorite DC character. Um, yeah. I've read but more Aquaman's of his stories, right there. but Aquaman is probably like yeah. 1B compared to 1A. And I am super basic. Mine is Batman, but <laughs> but you know, there's got to be one person. Wonder Woman's pretty close up there too. Um, Jake, are you excited to cast these Lantern characters? I am. I'm very excited. I I like so I'm like obviously like I like Superman and Batman but if I were to rank like my favorite DC characters it would be Flash, Aquaman, Green Lantern. Like he's up there for me. And yeah. I like all forms of Green Lantern. I like them all. Um it's I love the the space cop vibe and you know it's just a different side of the DC universe than what we see with a lot of the characters that are kind of earthbound. Um I also really love the personality of Green Lantern and going back to my love for the Flash the Flash and Green Lantern are best friends. So, like, I got a lot of exposure to him through the Flash storylines, uh, which is why he's up there. Um, I think Hal Jordan obviously deserves his justice. You know, it wasn't Ryan Reynolds' fault. The studio had no clue what they were doing with that project. 
Um, but I'm also very excited to see John Stewart. I think John Stewart is an insanely rich character. Um, and I love the idea of putting them together uh, because obviously their, their stories do intertwine very much. Um, and John Stewart becomes a lantern for certain reasons that Hal Jordan kind of the journey that he goes through. So I'm super excited. Uh, the true detective vibe gets me really interested and also kind of seeing like a, it's very much going to be like the veteran cop versus the rookie cop vibe. Not necessarily saying that John Stewart's going to be a rookie or like starting out, but it's going to be a little older versus a little younger is what I'm yeah, kind of looking he's at. He's definitely so, going to be, um, you know, he's going to be under Hal Jordan as far as rank goes in the yeah. Green Lantern Corps and all that, uh, which was made it interesting. Like you couldn't really choose mm. an actors too close in age looking and you couldn't choose somebody like you couldn't choose your John Stewart looking older than your Hal Jordan, basically. So it kind of limits your your choices there. But that's all right because we want to stick tr stay true to the characters it, i think that's an important element that hal jordan was first and he he's more of a veteran once uh once john stewart comes around yeah but yeah so how we're gonna do this is usually we do one character but we're doing a duo today that go hand in hand together so we are going to present our number one choice of our duo and then our after that we'll go to our honorable mention duo but i'm gonna start with brian here brian you are the Green Lantern guy, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so I'm going to throw to you. Who is your first uh, choice as a pair for Jon Stewart and Hal Jordan? So I picked the ones that I would love to see, but it's not going to happen because one of them is currently uh, basically dominating the MCU, literally. Um, <laughs> so my Jon Stewart... Uh, <laughs> is going to be uh mr none other then now i'm having brain fart because i'm make sure you <laughs> announce them at the same time brian because the image is together oh okay uh so then my john stewart is jonathan majors and my hal jordan is gwen powell image please <laughs> uh, oh wow this is funny because you chose him but then you also chose his co-star yeah um yes i know they were in Devotion, the fighter pilot movie. Um, I listen. I'm I'm all over the place with Jon Stewart. I pick like a different person every single day of who I think could play him because he is just like I mean, I I, I you got to pick someone that's like outspoken, strong whatever because he's a marine but for me gwen powell was made to be hal jordan like it, it, i i agree with that i he if he was to play one superhero it's literally hal jordan like i don't want to see him play anyone other than hal jordan i i I don't even want it. I wouldn't even want him in Marvel just so he could play Hal Jordan. Like it is, he's too perfect for this character. We've talked about it before. Um, it's just like, I don't think I could ever as someone that has grown up loving green lantern. I don't think I can imagine someone more perfect than him playing Hal Jordan. Um, Jonathan Majors, I mean, would easily come in and just beat the crap out of everyone. Uh, we already have seen that multiple times. That's why I was kind of iffy on choosing him. Plus, I already know he's not going to do that when he's got the MCU to destroy. Still a great choice. Like, he would he'd be perfect. Yeah. So, um, I... I actually went away from like the older, younger. I kind of put them on the same playing field because they they are similar ish. I think they're age. roughly the same age, right? Yeah, probably around uh -huh. give or take some years. Um, because I I don't want an older Hal Jordan. Like I want them both to be able to like just give their full story because Hal Jordan's story mm. is incredible I'm not saying john stewart isn't but i mean he is the like original green lantern and has a lot 
going on. So like, I don't want it to just be like, Oh, here's Hal Jordan. He's older. So that way we yeah. can kill him. Well, you kind of made me think like, it doesn't mean it, they can be similar in age, but you can just say that Hal Jordan has been a lantern for five years. And John yeah. Stewart just became a lantern, even though they're the same age. And that would make him his mentor still. Well, know? it would yeah. also be an interesting dynamic if, if they did make John Stewart older and like he had to listen to like this young buck. Oh, wow. It, I know that's not how it takes place in the comics, obviously, but it would that be very be interesting. interesting. Or, or yeah. if they're the same age, like let's say Glenn Powell and Jonathan Majors, which I love the choices. I know that they're kind of the obvious picks, but they are the yeah. perfect picks. They really are. Um, I very much see them very close in age, but it's the dynamic of the two alphas that they're going to have to deal with. Mm -hmm. Right. Like it's because they very much are two alphas. They have completely different personalities from each other. They are very, very different, but it's the dynamic of two alphas. And then what Jacob said of like how Jordan, not only being a lantern longer, but he's also higher up in the lantern system by the point John Stewart comes in, whether it's a year, five years, whatever. Um, John Stewart's going to have to deal with that experience and it's going to be different taking commands rather than giving commands because that's the type of character John Stewart is. Um, so I'm, I'm very interested in the route they go. I love the choice. It's I know that they're the obvious choices, but Brian's <laughs> right. They're the perfect choices. Like Glenn Powell was made to play Hal Jordan. Mm -hmm. And he, I mean, look, he's played two fighter pilots in the last year. <laughs> I mean, Brian, have obvious? you seen devotion or no? It's, no, it's great. It's great. So how are they? I'm it's sure great. they're great together, but I have to. They're ask, they're how great, are they, and how are it's they it's different. You uh, don't see you don't see the regular you don't see Top Guns Glenn Powell in Devotion. It's a very different character. That's good. Um, I would hope not. Very very kind of grounded, centered character. Um, obviously in a very different time period, and and Jonathan Majors plays a very quiet, reserved character that kind of has moments of, um, kind of not bursting out, but letting emotions out. Uh, because yeah. it's it's dealing with it's dealing with the race aspect, so he has to play oh, that character okay. very differently. Um, yeah, I mean, look, I, I they're great together. I would love they obviously have a very good friendship from if you've seen press junkets and stuff from that movie. Um, I, I they'd be great. They would really be great. They would. Awesome. Yeah, I would be all for it. And like we said, I guess the age doesn't matter as much as the experience of being a lantern. I think that's probably more important. So you can play it any way you want. And I. I kind of like Jake's idea of like John Stewart's a little bit older and like he's a, a Marine veteran. So he's like, why am I going to take orders from this young chump from and a then, fighter? You, so you have the fighter yeah. pilot and then you have a Marine. Exactly. Like, yeah. Imagine you can not play only like the that. whole, mm -hmm. like the whole like uh Navy verse uh, Marine and like the rivalry, but then you have like these two egos and, and alphas coming it's into play. <laughs> well, there's still rivalry. Though. Like, there's still a rivalry between the military branches either way um it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be very very interesting so absolutely brian those are great choices any last thoughts on your choices like any other no i mean i knew it? i knew that they were the obvious picks but like th they're literally perfect for the spots especially glenn powell there's a couple people that i like went back and forth i literally while we were starting i was like can i switch one with jake uh for john stewart <laughs> but um glenn powell that has not wavered in my mind at all so yeah maybe obvious but i like it awesome well the only thing i've seen glenn powell in is top gun and he was great in top gun that's the so, only thing i think so unless i'm missing Watch, something uh you've seen expendables 3 right yeah but i don't remember him he plays he plays a a young uh young cocky like uh i guess action guy he's kind of a tech savvy guy in that one but he very much glenn powell in that movie Jacob, very early on scream queens but he's also in a he oh jacob here you go here's a watch you can do he's in a really really good netflix movie with zoe douche oh which one is that i don't know the name of it off the top of my head but i know you love her so there you go yeah i do i've watched a few i've been like scrolling through netflix and i just see starring zoe douche i'm like all right just play it like i've watched a few of those but uh <laughs> but yes that would be an amazing choice like i'm sure all green lantern fans all comic book movie fans would be cool with it I, look at this point i'm okay with actors playing like two roles on you know in Mar one marvel one in dc like i'm fine with that like it just it really depends as long as the characters aren't similar that's the thing right like you or want... you're captain america and batman like 
Like, imagine, you, yeah, exactly. They can't be too popular. Like, you yeah, I'd love the to same, see Chris Evans as Batman. That'd be like, terrible. imagine if they know. cast the same actor to play Namor and Aquaman. Like, you can't do that. Like, yeah. you just, that you just one, can't. yeah. <laughs> that would be weird. Um, all right, Jake, we're going to go to you, man. I know you always come with these unique choices, um, somewhat unknown performers, and I'm always glad to hear your choices. So let's go to you. Who do you got for your first choice for these Lanterns? Well, I'm saving my unknowns for my second pick, which I think my second picks are arguably as good as my first picks but i went with two guys for my first picks that i don't think get enough credit um they've been in some really good really big projects over the years uh and you would recognize their name you recognize their faces but i just don't feel like they ever get the credit they deserve or like the starring roles per se um so for my hal jordan and my john stewart i went with garrett headland and trevante rhodes uh nice. two choices that i absolutely love i've put garrett headland on plenty of casting tables in the past i think um i think i had also had him for one point which i don't know if we've casted him or not but i had him for cyclops at one point as well which may still be the case uh trevante rhodes i feel like has done some incredible work but hasn't really broken through um, i couldn't remember where he's from but i know where he's from now yeah. uh so <laughs> trevante rhodes was in moonlight he yeah, was in the was predator it. Uh, and he was also in a movie called uh, Bruiser, which I watched. It was last year. Um, some smaller work, you know, hasn't popped up a ton. Obviously, the most prominent film is Moonlight. Um, so Garrett Hedlund, as at times in his career, has kind of played like this cockiness a little bit, which Cal Jordan very much has at times. Like he has this, I'm the cool guy. Like I'm the guy, like I'm the ace pilot. Like that's essentially what you're looking for, right? Um, and Trevante Rhodes has played characters that, you know, a little bit more um, unique, but also kind of like bruising, uh, just kind of like a big uh, uh, intimidating character. Intimidating is the best word I can find. Uh, and I think that they'd pair very well together. I, I really want these characters to, you know, have an interesting dynamic, not just the fact that they're lanterns, that they come from military backgrounds, but I want them to clash. And like, I want times where, you know, if they're going on a mission, one of them jumps in, thinks they're leading and, and, you know, they have a little bit of a tiff or it's vice versa on this and this, or, you know, if it is the case where Hal Jordan's been a lantern for a few years that John Stewart doesn't, he's like, no, like I got this. Like, I understand what's going on, etc. I feel like Trevante Rhodes can put that on screen. Um, it would also give both of them a big break. You know, I know Garrett headland has been in the business for a long time, but I just, again, I feel like he never gets the credit he deserves. He's always in these kind of like, just, okay movies and he kind of moves on like he was in pan which i thought he was great in but pan was a massive flop obviously he's in tron legacy and that movie never moved forward like with a sequel like it should have um <laughs> and yeah so i just i think they're both great i would love to see them as his characters they're both young enough too to where they can play the characters for a long time but also not like absolutely massive stars to where you need to pay them a crap ton of money or give them this and that and that it would give them a chance to really shine in a project where they both have kind of bounced around and never really been in a franchise, which I think having them in a franchise could be pretty cool. So, yeah, these would be great. I mean, Garrett Headland, that's totally a Jake type pick. Yeah. I mean, you, I remember you showed me the, or you challenged me to watch Tron Legacy years ago, and I, I loved it. It was so entertaining, and he was arguably the best part of it, um, just the way he carried that movie. So, and you know, for me, like for some reason, not every character has like you have to find the right fit for the character but Hal Jordan I think you do like mm -hmm. a lot of times it's like oh any great actor could come in and play it I don't think that's the case for Hal Jordan I think <clears throat> it has to be the right fit and I think well Glenn Powell as well but Garrett Hillen would be a great choice and then Trevante Rhodes like I just all I know him from is Moonlight really um but he was he was really good in that and I the way I, I imagine Jon Stewart as like just a very hard-headed tough guy like mm -hmm. um Marine. and and he fits that very well which like not all of my choices for him fit that but but this guy does um so great choices thank you yeah i like him uh i don't have too much uh experience with um your john stewart but Javante Rhodes. yes i didn't want to say the name wrong uh but... uh brian have you seen bird box Yes, he plays. The he is in Bird Box, Box right? Yeah. I've seen. Well, yeah, he I've, plays Sandra Bullock's, I guess, boyfriend technically, but what? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Well, I've seen. Um, 
Moonlight. Moonlight? Jesus. Yeah. God, I brain farted hard on that one. But he's uh, not he's not in that movie a lot because of the way the story is. He's I was not. Say, I yeah, really, I just thought, he's just yeah. at the end, but third act, kind of. Yeah. So um, but yeah, I Garrett Hedlund was one of the ones I saw. It's like yeah, that I just love how big and like how big in stature he is, which is kind of how I picture John or how Jordan, like kind of taller, a yeah. little bit more, uh, just bigger in build, and he, he kind of fits that a little bit. Yeah, no, so I'm fine with all of all of that have been said so far. And he's also he's already doing a streaming service show right now on Paramount Plus, so he's already he's down for streaming shows. Yeah, why What's not? That? Garrett Hedlund, he's on uh, oh. Tulsa King. Yeah. With Sylvester Stallone, but he actually just picked up another one for Taylor Sheridan, a brand new show that's coming, and he's starring in it. So, oh, sweet! Yeah, All right. another Taylor Sheridan show. Awesome. Yep, <laughs> let's love it. Come, I still Taylor need Sheridan to check out Universe. Tulsa King. Still need to check out Tulsa King. Um, All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go with my uh, first choices as well. Now, like I, well, I think your actors fit yours very well. I don't know if mine do, but I still would love to see them in this in these roles. And my first choice would be. Ryan Gosling and Tyler James Williams. Now I'm going to talk about Tyler James Williams first, my choice for Jon Stewart. I would not have made this choice, let's say two months ago, but I started watching Abbott Elementary. Yeah. <laughs> and first of all, Brian, that show too accurate I watched, sometimes. I watched one episode and I was like, no, this is too real. It's too real. If you're a, if you work at an elementary school or a school, but uh, but anyways, he's it's in it's in like an office style show, like the mockumentary style. But he plays this guy who like he's very serious. He's very organized. He he wants to be the principal for the school, but he gets duped out of it. And then he has to become like a second grade teacher there. And he's waiting to become the principal one day. But he's like he's super organized and he's the only one that like is uh, kind of has his stuff together in a way. Um, and I just think like he could play that, uh, he could play a Marine very well. Cause I was watching that show and, and if you guys don't remember him, he played, uh, in that Chris rock show that everybody hates Chris, he was the kid. And it's like a lot of times those kid actors, they just disappear. Like they never work anymore. Never hear from our CM. He's kind of developed kind of a career and especially on Abbott elementary that's, you know, elevated his career a little bit. So, and he's only 30 years old, uh, right now. And I think, you know, watching him on that show, I think he would do a great job. Now, like, I don't know, because acting in those type of shows is very different than like cinematic acting. So I don't I don't know if he'd carry over, but I would like to see him uh, try at least. I think uh, he deserves a shot in one of these bigger movies. And then also, look, Ryan Gosling, I, I'm it's so shocking to me. Like it used to be like, oh, big name actors aren't in comic book movies. Now it's like which big name actors aren't in comic book movies. And there's, you know, every time I come across or think about somebody like a Ryan Gosling, it's like, wow, I'm sure that Marvel and DC have approached him multiple times. And he's like, nah, I'll wait. I'm going to do Barbie instead, <laughs> which Brian's excited for. But I think at some point, Ryan Gosling is going to jump into the right role. And oh, it's definitely going to be the right role. Did, did you hear he, he wants Ghost Rider? Yeah. Hey. That would be cool too. Did he say that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, never mind. No, Let's but, be honest uh, though. He fits the build of Cyclops. Yeah, uh, a little bit. Yeah. Different. Yeah, he does. <laughs> um, but hey, enough. to me, if they look, he's forty-two. Um, Tyler William or Tyler James Williams is thirty. So I think it would fit the the dynamic as far as age range goes, and I would like mm -hmm. to see it. So maybe not traditional choices. I do think. You know, they could add some lightheartedness to this. You know, I think this show's is going to be like serious, but and they could add some lightheartedness to it. So those will be my top choices. For characters. I actually came like honorable mention level for your Jonathan, John Stewart. Oh, really? really? Uh huh. Wow. Um, I. I don't know if I see Gosling doing Green Lantern. Can I see? I It's not that I don't like it, but it's like, I don't know. I have a hard time seeing him like pretending to just be like 
pew, pew floating in the like, air. But yeah, we got to take it seriously, right? So, exactly. I don't know. So I don't. But if we were going detective-y style route and stuff like that, then yeah, that's a whole different story. I could totally see that. Um, but no, I do, I do, I like the picks. I mean, who's uh, someone's going to Ryan Gosling's going to be Green Lantern? <laughs> I'm not going to sit there and go no. I'm like get on, yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I so obviously like got you guys know how much I love Gosling. Yeah, of course. If I were to rank them, he's my second favorite actor on the planet, right behind Gyllenhaal. Um, so I, I mean, if he was cast as Green Lantern, I'd be psyched. I've never really been a fan of Tyler James Williams, and I'm sorry. Like it's just yeah. I mean, like I said, he's not the right fit for the for that role necessarily. But I, I I, so the only the only real experience I have with him is in The Walking Dead. And I was oh, never really? a fan of him. Yeah. Like, I don't know what it, I, I don't know. Why. I didn't even know. When did he come on the show? He was in it for like two episodes. No, he was in it for maybe like a season or two or uh, something. But um, I don't remember. There's huh. so many of those seasons. And I fin- I stopped watching so long ago. Um, but he was in it. And I just, I never really attached to his character. Yeah, uh, well, that's fair. And I haven't really seen him in anything else. Like he's popped up every once in a while. But I haven't watched him in something that like I've gotten a lot of just kind of on screen time with him. Mm-hmm. Um, so just going off the very slim experience I have, he doesn't fit that for me, but it doesn't mean he doesn't fit that for you guys, which you guys yeah. clearly have more experience. So no, definitely. that's just where I stand, but the Gosling pick a plus. So, yeah. And you know, with him, with Todd James Williams, he's kind of scrawny, you know, he, but I think, look, he's six two. He's, he's not short. He's tall. Um, but I think, hey, you think if you got cast in this, he's the first thing he's not doing is hitting the gym. Like that's the oh, first 100%. thing. He, well, if you Google, if you gym. Google his name, there's a picture that comes up from Men's Health where he's ripped and he's got oh. like, tattoos and everything. So and he can clearly do it. Yeah, I know. I just saw a different side of him when I watched Abbott Elementary. So uh, if you if you haven't seen him in anything, I recommend probably checking that out. Probably not a show for you, Jake. You don't like that style of comedy, but. Uh, anybody else i have too much other stuff to watch (laughs) yeah no for sure um all right so those are our first choices here we're done with round one moving on to round two and i'll just go right back to you brian who are your second choices so up until now i just realized that four of or three of my four picks all have the first name john (laughs) um wow which is ironic and including one of the characters oh they do (laughs) i didn't even think about that uh so i did not even realize that um but my backup picks uh for hal stewart hal (laughs) whoa hal jordan (laughs) hey we're doing the duo just call it hal stewart um yeah, I'm just let's combine it. Com- Hal Stewart. Um, uh, my Hal Jordan is Jonathan Bailey, and my uh, John Stewart is John David Washington. Um, now, here's the thing with this: John, my John Stewart looks a little bit older than my. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, God, I'm having such Hal a Hal Jordan. Hal, Hal Jordan. Jordan, thank you. I don't know why I'm struggling so much. Um, but I don't really care. Uh, I don't think that age really matters. Also, I'm not entirely like they, these two don't need to be the ones that are together. Like they it doesn't have to be these two. Mm, um, so but I love Jonathan Bailey especially in Bridgerton. Um, He's 34. Yeah. Yeah. And he is, he's just a great actor. I mean, he's like theater trained, so he knows how to do all that. And I just think he'd be kind of a dope. I went with someone like not as named for my second one. Uh, (laughs) John David Washington. Wasn't he in a detective show? No, um, I just imagine that. Ringing a bell. I don't know. I, I think you are right. Hold on. I think I, he he looks like he can be a detective. So like it just. <laughs> oh no, yeah. Brian! He was in Black Klansman. Yeah, I knew that, but I thought it was a. Uh, he was in something else. That was I mean, like, that's a detective <laughs> show. So yeah, all right. He well, was in Tenet. 
I mean, in Tenet, he's kind of no, solving a he was of solving in... a mystery. I don't know. Uh, no, that I mean no, he's not in a detective. I don't know, show, but, but he yeah. he gives me true detective vibes. Like, so it kind of just like fit perfectly. I don't know. I went with kind of more random choices for the second one. Uh, oh, I mean, he's a great choice, honestly. Like, I'm I'm actually I'm kind of. Oh no, he was in Ballers. Did he play a detective? In he Ballers? was the star football player in Ballers with The Rock. That's what it was. Yeah. It's not no, detective, but, but whatever. No, Brian, I'm kind of mad I didn't think of him because he. I think he would do a good job. Yeah, really? I, he didn't come across at all for you, Jake? I feel like I don't he's know like why. the name. I know. Really? I didn't like. Yeah. I was running names through my head and I was like doing some research and I just didn't think of him. But so there's there's been two names over the last like five years or so that have popped up frequently. Like the two top. It's John Therese. David Washington. No. no, it's John David Washington <sighs> and it's Jonathan Boyega. Mm hmm. Yeah, John Boyega is the one. I, those are, I those are the two names because... that pop up all the time. Yeah. No, I. Oh, you know what? I think I remember that when Tenet came out, everyone was like John David Washington for John yep. Stewart. Yeah. Everyone, not, everyone, not his name it, and yeah. John Boyega were the two names that were popping up constantly. I, yeah, did not even see that at all. But yeah, either way, I'd be fine with either of them. I mean, I like John. I like John David Washington a lot. I think he's been great. I thought he was. I mean, Black Klansman speaks for itself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, he does a really good job. Tenant. Uh, he was great in Tenant. The movie was just an absolute dog pile of poo poo. Uh, so there's nothing against him. Uh, Even him I love and Robert Pattinson said they didn't know what was going on. Yeah, like it's just the, the, movie. the movie was. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah, that movie just yeah. yeah. Um, and Jonathan Baby, like I watched Bridges. I think he's great. Uh, he's shown off some really good acting chops. Because uh, he acts a lot um, alongside a lot of different people, and that show I've never obviously seen requires. Him I haven't watched Bridgerton. That I, show requires you, a lot of you. So. That is right you would up, love. You would yeah, love Bridgerton. You think so? It's like yeah. Jane Austen esque. Like, I, like, I like Bridgerton. I, like, yeah. I think okay. it's enjoyable. Well, yeah, Jacob. It's I heard it's very erotic, though. It is. There's an <laughs> entire episode in season one dedicated to having sex. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> I personally like season two better than season one, but that's a whole different story. I, don't know. Know. I, I like the I like the main Something actress much. in season two a lot more than in season one, but that is true. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, welcome to the Bridgerton podcast. Where are we? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> um, all right. Well, yeah. I mean, I love your second choice for John Stewart. I don't. I've never seen Jonathan Bailey, so can't comment on that. But he looks like he would do a good job. You would definitely. They would definitely be like same age or. Maybe even Stewart's a little bit older. Yeah. I don't even know John David Washington's age, but he doesn't look right. older or younger than this guy. He's 38 um, years old. Oh, okay. So you could do that thing where Hal Jordan's older or younger mm -hmm. if you did that. But um, all right, Jake, who do you got for us for your second choice? I'm guessing two Vikings actors. Uh, no, I stayed away from Vikings. Guys. <laughs> I stayed away from Vikings. I almost went with Alexander Ludwig. But I thought about him too. No, he crossed no, I was I was joking. I wanted him from other stuff. Um. No, look, I I went with two guys that uh, I've only ever seen in one thing each. So relatively new to kind of like the eye. One's from a TV show, one's from a movie. Um, so my Hal Jordan, I went with a gentleman named Brandon Sklenner, which none of you will recognize. <laughs> and then I went with Jay Ellis from Top Gun Maverick. Brandon Sklenner plays Spencer Dutton in 1923 mm -hmm. uh, ah. in the Yellowstone, Yellowstone spinoff. And Jay Ellis plays Payback in Top Gun Maverick. Oh, I like Jay Ellis's mm -hmm. pick. Uh, I really, really Ooh, like these choices okay. for these multiple like reasons. Um, one, they are both, like I said, relatively new to the scene. Uh, they both have some pretty big projects under their belt, and um, they very much can kind of mold this character to be their own. They won't have to, you know, worry about being a name uh, prior. They can kind of, you know, land a big property or franchise or whatever after kind of getting their feet wet a little bit uh Brent Slenner plays a character named Spencer Dutton on 1923 um he's a relative of John Dutton from Yellowstone who's Kevin Costner in the year 1923 and he plays um he is a pretty much a uh hunter but he hunts like lions and tigers and hyenas and, bears and he protects mine. he protects camps in Africa from like attacks and stuff. So he's an absolute badass. Like he's an absolute badass. He's got suave. He took a girl away from her, hus her newly formed husband the day they're getting married. Like he's Damn. a total badass. Like he's just <laughs> the dude. And then Jay Ellis, like if you've seen Top Gun Maverick, he has a total 
awesome personality as well. Um, Payback's one of the popular characters in that in that movie, and I think that he can bring some really cool things to that character. They're both a little bit on the younger side compared to my previous picks in uh, Garrett Hedlund and Trevante Rhodes, but not like young enough to like where they're teenagers. They still play like late twenties, early thirty characters, which I think is like a perfect spot for these characters. They have you know when you see Hal Jordan and, and John Stewart, you don't want and I'm just using this for reference. You don't want a, a Captain Marvel situation where she's brand new to flying. Like, right? Like, she's only been doing it as, like, an official pilot for so long. She's been in training and stuff, but she's, like, brand new to actually doing it on her own. You want these characters to have, like, years of experience flying these jets. Not, like, Maverick experience, but enough experience to, like, really believe that these are the best of the best on the planet. And there's a reason why they're being chosen as the Lanterns. So that like 30s range is like a good, I think, like just center point for me. Um, and you guys know me. I go with the unknown weird <laughs> picks sometimes. And these are my of the, of the week. So Brandon Sklenner is Hal Jordan. Jay Ellis is uh, John Stewart. Make it happen. <laughs> Never heard of either of their names, but I do remember him from Top Gun and, and he was awesome. And hey, he looks the part. But yeah, I'm sure. And th- that's the thing is like – I. You know, you watch a lot of TV shows that I, I don't I've never seen. So it's like, you know, a lot of actors that that I'm on. Jake has a lot of free so. time is what Jacob's saying. <laughs> no, I realize what it is now. I realize what it is now. Jake has his phone. He's watching TV on his phone like at all times. That's mm-hmm. <laughs> that's what it is. Um, no, but yeah. So, though, I mean, I'm sure they're great choices. I'm just very, very unfamiliar with their work. Brian, you, have you seen them in other stuff other than? Haven't seen uh, the. Um... Hal Jordan, Hal Jordan guy, yeah. but I mean, maybe in like a Yellowstone commercial, <laughs> but not in this life. Um, but I like the John Stewart pick a lot. He even kind of looks like him. Like, so, uh, yeah, if you have someone that kind of like looks like the character too, it kind of makes me even more intrigued with yeah, like, oh, well, that's kind of a good pick because mm-hmm. they kind of even look like it. So they got to probably act like it maybe too. And you just, yeah. And like my two picks specifically, and I know that we didn't like, we didn't have to fully stay by this, but I really went hard in like the, I see this person with this, person. with them. Yeah. And I, I see Garrett Hedlund with Trevante Rhodes. I see Brandon Sklenner with Jay Ellis. And that was just my preference of like going in on that, you know, kind of a uh, particular thing for this casting. Um, but I mean, if one of them was cast with without the other, I'd be fine with it. Uh, I just went really like deep into like, OK, who fits well from what I've seen with this character? And that's that's kind of how I ended up on. These that's stuff. a good point. I kind of wish I would flip my John Stewart's honestly with the other guy. If you, you agree, Jake, on mine, I think I, I think that would actually be better. Probably opinion. just specifically because of Gosling. Yeah, I think but so. then. But with your next pick, the age difference might be too much. You're right. That's a good point as well. But yeah. let's get into my my two picks now. My Hal Jordan, I just want this guy in something, so that's why Me I too. chose him. Me and too. then uh, my my uh, John Stewart. I'm getting the names mixed up too, Brian. Uh, John Stewart, I think, would be a great choice. So I got John Hamm as Hal Jordan, and I got O'Shea Jackson Jr. as John Stewart. Now, look, I personally love the O'Shea Jackson Jr., uh, casting like I for some reason I thought he was shorter than he was but he's 5'11 he's almost six foot he's he's not small um, Jacob sure... I came this close to <laughs> him yeah really you know what's yes funny so... is wow. here's the thing if I only watched straight out of Compton I would have said nah no way everything I see him in I like him more and more and more I liked him in what he pop up in the Mandalorian right uh, season Obi-Wan. two Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan. Oh, Obi-Wan tripping Obi-Wan uh, then he was, what was that comedy with Seth Rogen? Was it the one long with, shot? He was great in long shot. So every time I see him pop up in something, I'm like, wow, he's way better of an actor. Than he's I also thought. in Kong Skull Island, I think. Isn't he? That's right. Yeah. He's a way better actor than I, than I thought he was. Um, Cause in, he's playing his dad. He looks just like him. He he's also in Cocaine Bear out theaters right now. It's hard to, um, <laughs> It's hard to say like he's playing his dad, like, oh, he's a great actor. But I think he has become a really good actor. So I think he would do a great job. And you know what I like about him? I like how confident he is. Like he's super confident, always smiling, just like very charismatic. And I think he would do a great job playing John Stewart. And look, John Hamm, I like 
I just don't get it. I think this guy should be, an, we've said this for years. He should be an A-list superstar. I wonder how many roles that like major roles he's gone out for or has like talked to people yeah. about and he actually hasn't gotten them. Like the list has got to be massive by now. No, I'm sure. And it's like, not to be like, you know, he has a limited time where he's going to be youngish, where he can play action roles. And it's like time is, you know, moving by quickly. So I just want to get like if it was like 10 years ago, mm-hmm. John Hamm could have played Batman, you know, but like he's, he's getting be, up. He, I mean, he'd still be good for Batman <laughs> no, right now. He still he could still be, be yeah. good. Hey, you know, Bat Family, he could be the older one. You never know. He can um, be a Batman Beyond movie in a heartbeat. Yeah, but, you know, he's 52. He doesn't look like super old. It depends on the. So in certain movies, he has gray hair on the side, and then they or they'll dye it, and he looks younger. Reed you know, Richards. Either way, but um, I just think well, look, and Green Lantern is a character where kind of like Iron Man, right? Where like the actor doesn't have to be super physical; like they're just it's gonna be they're gonna be floating in the air, whatever the case is. Like, um, you know, there might be a lot of stunt doubles and stuff. So I think John Hamm could play it well. And look, there's no secret like we want. Uh, Hal Jordan to be like super witty and just quick witted and kind of not funny, but like just he's gonna, you know, even when he's not trying to be funny, he's funny because the thing well, Hal Jordan saying. is also a major asshole. And yeah. oh, what, John Hamm what character that. did John Hamm play for a very long time that was a major asshole? Mm-hmm. If you've seen the show Mad Men, you have yeah. your example. So there you go. Yeah, exactly. So I, I could see him being like a super dick, like, and he has to, he's supposed to train this younger guy and he's, he doesn't want to, but he has to. And I well, and totally what movie see... did, what movie did we just see John Hamm in where he basically did that? Yeah. Top what Gun movie? Maverick. Oh, oh, duh. Yeah, exactly. And <laughs> by so, the way, we picked three Top Gun actors. Just so I didn't even think about I that. I know we're not <laughs> typecasting at all. <laughs> I know. And they're fighter pilots. Like, come yeah, on. Yeah. It's just, yeah. but, um, but no, and I, I think, oh, you know what? Actually, him and O.J. Jackson would go well together, I think. I could I could totally see that. So, yeah, Dude, I, you, I love my I choices. I don't know, like... You don't like my John Stewart picks, huh? I just, I don't know what it is. And I have nothing against O.J. Jackson Jr. Mm-hmm. I just don't see him in this role, like, at all. Like, the movies that I've seen him in, uh, like, I think, like, he was good in Kong School Island. That, that required a little bit of action. Long, I think he's so good at being... Not like comedy, but just that type of movie. I don't know if I see him as a superhero. Yeah. I, like, I don't know if I see him. Well, in... even in a Star Wars show, right? He's like a side character that's like a pilot. Yeah. And... <sighs> yeah not I not see... to say that I don't ever see him as like a leading man, but I don't know if I see him as a comic book character. Like he was great in uh, Straight Outta Compton. Great mm-hmm. in Straight Outta Compton. Like absolutely incredible. But I can see him doing those types of roles where it's like in the forefront, very dramatic, requires mm-hmm. a lot of acting ability. I don't know if I see him as a superhero, but how many times have we said that over the past 20 years with yeah. actors? We've said that a lot. That's very and I could true, be yeah. absolutely wrong and people watching could be screaming at me right now, which is <laughs> fine, but that's just, I don't know if I see him as a comic book character. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I see where I see what you're saying because like I, to me, I think he's an unconventional choice for mm-hmm. Jon Stewart. I really do. Mm-hmm. And it's part of the reason why I went for it. Like, he doesn't strike me like, oh, he's a hardcore military Marine. Like, yeah. it, it's not the first choice that comes or first thing that comes to my head. But, you know, I think he could play it if he had to. I mean, I'm sure, you know, if let's say they're doing casting calls for this, that role, I think he's going to try. I think he would go oh, try sure. to get this Probably. role. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. He might not be their first choice, but I could see him you know auditioning for it um, for sure so yeah so yeah, that's th- those are my backups um and yeah that should do it for our casting table of hal jordan and john stewart i want to go around one more time and brian just tell the viewers your first choice for your duo and your second choice um so my uh hal jordans were uh, glenn powell and jonathan bailey and my john stewart were Jonathan Majors <laughs> and John David Washington. Bunch of so many Johns. I know. I wonder if Glenn Powell's middle name is John. Something. It has I to know. Be, right? <laughs> <laughs> that explains a lot. Yeah. Um, Jake, uh, who are your two duos? So uh, for my first Hal Jordan and John Stewart pick, I went with Garrett Hedlund and Trevante Rhodes. And my backup pick, I went with Brandon. Oh, God, what? Brandon Sklenner. <laughs> such a weird last name Brandon Sklenner and Jay Ellis 
Awesome. And then for my first uh, duo for my Hal Jordan was Ryan Gosling, Tyler James Williams as John Stewart. And then for my second choice, I had John Hamm as Hal Jordan and O'Shea Jackson Jr. as John Stewart. And that's going to do it for our casting of the Lanterns. That was a lot of fun. I, I like doing these kind of duo characters. There's not a lot that you can do, like mm -hmm. as far as superhero roles, like you mm -hmm. can cast the duo together. So I'm glad we were able to do it this time. And you're right, Jake, the the um, relationship and the on-screen chemistry between the two is very, very important. So I yeah. think whoever they end up casting, we're going to have to, um, they're going to have to nail that, the nail the duo and make sure they get, I'm sure they'll do test screens together. I'm sure they will. <laughs> chemistry chemistry uh, reads are definitely happening for this show. So absolutely. Yes. Um, so that'll do it for this casting table. Make sure to go check out our other ones. We recently did uh, Johnny Cage from Mortal Kombat. And we also cast our uh, potential new James Bond. Those were our last two episodes. And keep an eye out for our future episodes. We're going to at least do one or two a month. Um, so yep. keep an eye out. I was your host today, Jacob Bartley. who's joined by Brian Avalicino, Brian Avalicino and Jake Berlin. Um, and also, don't forget to check out Apocalypse Now every Tuesday. And Jake, we got anything else coming up uh, for the viewers? Fandalorian Club, uh, our Star Wars review show every single Wednesday, 6 o'clock Pacific live. Um, I'm not sure when this episode is exactly going to drop, but we're reviewing The Mandalorian and then also Thursday mornings while The Bad Batch is dropping. Uh, our reviews for The Bad Batch will also be on the channel. Just pre-recorded for those. Awesome. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, we really appreciate it and we'll see you next time.